What's up everybody, it's Ennis here. Welcome to another episode. This week we're about 45 minutes to an hour away from Los Angeles in this beautiful area called Malibu Lake, located in Agora Hills. And today we'll be touring this house right behind me and also discussing what it's like to live here in Malibu Lake. This property is located on 2222 Triumphal Place. It has four bedrooms, four full baths, one half bath, 4,302 square feet of interior space, built on an 11,252 square foot lot, and this property is currently on the market for $3,995,000. And before we get in there, I want to thank the listing agents, John Herkenrat and Rachel Witzwich for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. And now, let's get started. So let's start with the exterior of this home. On this side, we have a little bit of a driveway off from the street and we have three car garage. And from the three car garage, there's a nice little walkway here that takes you to the front door. We have a crushed granite driveway right here that we can actually see all the way to the lake. And you can access it from the private driveway, which goes to these five homes on this street right here. And let's continue going this way. This is kind of the front of the home. We have these beautiful olive trees right here, a lot of lush landscaping, and the same natural stone walkway continues right here. Now let's briefly talk about the exterior of this home. The same natural stone walkway continues here and you get access to your backyard area. There's a nice little seating area over there. You get a perfect view of the lake. And if you look at the overall exterior of the home, we see shingle siding throughout the entire property, kind of like Hampton style architecture here. I really like these dormer roof details right there. And lastly, a detail that I really want to show. If you guys look at above the windows, above the moldings, that are actually these metal trims that caps over the moldings, that's for waterproofing. And that's an important detail to make sure those windows never leak. And now let's take this walkway to this covered porch so we can take a look at inside of the home. I also really like this front door with side lights, bringing natural light in to the entry of this home. So right here, we have staircase going up to the second floor and this hallway goes into the dining room and the living room area. But before we get there, I wanna open this door so we can look at the garage right here. On the exterior, we only see three uh, garage doors, but this can easily start up to six cars. You know, if you wanna do a workstation or anything like that, you can easily do it. As you guys can see, there are a lot of, you know, it's pretty open here. Yeah, really a lot of space in here. Yeah, and here's another kicker. If someone makes a full price offer for this house, owner is willing to throw in the car. So, what a nice gesture, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get my checkbook ready. Let's do it, let's do it. I'll join you living in this place. All right, back into the house. So, off of the entry, we have a little seating area right here. And there's a door here leading out to the side patio on this side. Now, back in the house, let's take this hallway so we can talk about the main space on this level. And before I start with the dining room area, I wanna take you guys this way. We have the powder room here for the first floor of this house, nice floating vanity. I really like this countertop with a letter finish, some industrial light fixtures. And of course, I gotta mention this shiplap siding on the walls as well. And this is where we have the toilet. A lot of these nice awning windows as well for ventilation. Pretty straightforward. All right, let's get back out and talk about this dining room area. So, 
on the exterior we mentioned that this home had a Hampton style architecture and essentially it has a little bit more of a traditional classic layout, right? So each room on this house is well defined. We have the kitchen on my right hand side, we have the dining room and we have the living room. Although they're all connected together, they each have their defined spaces, which I really like. In this case, as soon as you walk in the property, you see the dining room area, nice and open. Here's a cool little detail right here. So there's this reclaimed wood barn doors right here. Even the track is reclaimed. And if you open this, there's a nice little seating area with an authentic chandelier above. And I personally like the staging here. I feel like it goes with the vibe of the room. In this case, this could be a wine cellar, but could be a little seating area where you just sit down, enjoy your drinks, enjoy your company. All right, now let's go out and talk about this family room, living room area. Nice and open, a lot of French doors. We have a gas fireplace with the same uh, natural stone as the powder room, leather finish. All these French doors open up to your deck where you can enjoy your lake view, but we're gonna get to that in a minute. Um, overall very open and I want to go this way there's a cool little art here check the sailboat out pretty cool little three-masted boat there there you go it's a different style of staging but in this case it kind of goes with the quirkiness of this house the nautical theme there you go all right same hardwood floors continue throughout the entire first floor of this house and now let's talk about this kitchen and there are a lot of details on this kitchen and first thing I want to mention is that how timeless this kitchen looks, right? We tour incredible properties here in Los Angeles, in California, and um, we see a lot of these kitchen designs that five years from now, they're going to look dated. But in this case, Calcutta marble, white cabinetry, shaker cabinets throughout, these are some timeless finishes. Let's start right here. We have a nice bar seating. Calcutta marble continues not only as a countertop, also as a backsplash as well. Shaker cabinets continue here. Again, going with the traditional lines of this home, we see a lot of upper cabinets with glass inserts, which I think is an appropriate touch. A lot of windows, again, you may be in your kitchen, but you deserve to enjoy this incredible lake view. We got a beautiful farm sink right here. More of these traditional um, fixtures. And again, chrome, they could have easily go, go with one of those pull out kitchen faucets. In this case, they went with these uh, fixed ones. Again, tying in some of those uh, traditional elements. We have the dishwasher right next to the kitchen sink. And if we continue this way, like I mentioned before, countertop continues as a backsplash. We have a Thermador six uh, burner gas range here your pot filler, you gotta have it. And again, going with the traditional lines, we have the paneled vent here, all seamless. Same windows kind of continue on this side as well, and they're awning, which is awesome. You can leave them open, you can get ventilation throughout. Here's another detail I wanna mention that a lot of people overlook. So generally speaking, when you have these drawers, these drawers tend to stick out about inch and a half on each side, and when you close these drawers, the front door will hit the edges and the drawer will stop. But in this case, they went with a little bit of a modern finish, which as you guys can see, the drawer actually recess in to the face of the cabinets. So it's kind of a traditional look, but yet bringing some of those modern elements. So I thought that was a really cool touch. Lastly, we have an additional sink on the island here as well. And your fridge setup, and even your KitchenAid wine fridge right here. A lot of details, like I told you guys, but uh, it's a timeless kitchen. I personally really like it. Lastly, we have a pantry space right here, shelves on the each side. And if you continue through this door, we actually have a washer and dryer area right here with a little utility sink, but even right here, they use Calicata marble as a countertop and the backsplash. That just shows they didn't skip any expense to make this home look beautiful. And that's pretty much it for this level. Now we're going upstairs so we can take a look at all the bedrooms.
let's go upstairs. The same hardwood floors on the first level continue here as well. And we have a little bit of a landing area and let's go this way. There's a little bit of a hallway. And on the second floor, we have one of the rooms currently staged as a family room, which is really cool. Good sized room. First of all, let's get a little nerdy here. I love these split system units. They're super efficient. They get the job done. Very European also. Agreed, agreed. Well said. So this is technically a bedroom, right? Boom. We have a closet, pretty straightforward. A lot of hanger space here in case you want to use this room as a closet. And let's go check out the bathroom for this room. Same finishes throughout all the bathrooms on this level as well. We're going to see these shaker cabinets. Again, some of these uh, classic traditional handles, chrome fixtures, color cut marble here also as a backsplash and your walk-in shower. I mean, you got to love this border and the bathroom um, shower cell, all color cut marble and even the floors right here, although they're mosaics, they're actually all marble pieces. Same niche here, and then we have the classical, good old uh, oversized subway tiles on the wall. Let's get out of this bathroom, go back to the main room, right? So here's another detail I wanna talk about. Those uh, dormers that I talked on the outside, the roofing details, you can actually see them here, which is really cool. And they use this space as all closet space right here. Let's get a look in one of those. Yeah, if you wanna store things, you use it however you like. Plenty of space. Mm -hmm. And this thing continues on the other side. Again, more closet space. How do you see this room? You see this is like a mini master? You see this kind of like a theater room? Both. I think it could be a great mini master or it could be like a screening room. And honestly, if you have a small family and you want to be close to your beds, I feel like this could actually be a better living room area. Yeah. That's what I like about it. All right, let's have these French doors. This room comes with its own balcony, which is really cool. And you know, the whole area having the lake, it's all about the outdoors, making the best out of it. That's why it's so great to have a balcony like this. Also, since we talked about um, shingle siding, you can actually get a closer look right here. These are all panels, by the way. They are not individual pieces. I think they are three or four feet uh, wide pieces that you just nail and install. But overall, good size balcony facing to the back, not to the lake. And um, let's go back inside. All right. Now let's go back to that hallway so we can take a look at the other bedrooms. So this is the landing for the second floor. And there's actually a little bit more of a storage space right here as well. Let me show you guys that. And let's start with the second bedroom on the left. This is the bathroom for this bedroom. We have the same uh, vanity and countertop set up here as well. Nice industrial lights on the each side. And this one has a walk-in shower, right? But again, the elements like uh, the marble uh, shower sill, subway tiles, and these mosaic marble tiles on the floor continue here as well. And there's a little bit of a nice bench. And I like that each bathroom comes with an awning window as well. All right back to the bedroom so this one kind of partially faces the lake and kind of gets a side view more importantly this one has a balcony i mean it's nice peaceful tranquil up here it's so nice yeah. you get the lake view the peace quietness i love this place yeah. i love this place i love it all right good sized bedroom and I'll close the door after you, Mikey. And uh, we have the closet space right there. And also, not to mention, every single bedroom on this floor has a vaulted ceiling. Something to talk about. Let's not skip those details. Back to the hallway. So this is where we have the master bedroom, right? There's a little bit of a seating area as well. Ceilings are actually a little bit higher here and we have four skylights. Bringing all that natural light in. So right here we have a a little bar setup with a wine fridge, same countertops, upper cabinets, and this is bedroom number three. A lot of windows. Again, this one gets a lake view, which is really cool. 
and then our walk-in closet same vaulted ceilings with a wood beam design are also here all these bedrooms are very cozy and the way the second floor is laid out gives a lot of privacy to these each bedrooms they're a little isolated from each other which i really like all right again another beautiful shaker vanity same countertops same like fixtures this one instead of a walk-in shower has a tub setup same oversized subway tiles continue here as well and they use marble here as a surface to kind of bring a little bit of a pop of color again chrome fixtures all those traditional elements are also in this bathroom as well and let me ask you this so this is the second time we've seen this is there any added benefit or is there any reason you separate the vanity and the sink and the uh, mirror like from the shower and toilet room honestly i don't know the answer for that but if i had to guess i'm gonna say everything in this house is so well designed and defined that they wanted to define the vanity area toilet and the shower you know so they wanted to have that little bit of separation that would be my guess yeah all right so let's go back to the hallway and let's open up these double doors so we can take a look at the master bedroom welcome guys so as you guys can see very spacious very open we have the bed perfectly situated towards this gas fireplace. You already have your pre-wiring here for your TV, little bit of ship lap to bring some warmth to the space. We have the French doors opening up to the balcony and you see the lake view. We're gonna get to that. First, let's go this way. We have the walk-in closet here, straightforward, good size, a lot of hangar space, you know, covers your, covers your bases. And then let's go check out that bathroom. Actually, let's close these doors real quick now we have the master bathroom here let's start this way and we have the makeup area right here i personally like that vanity setup is separated from the makeup area nice full-size mirror right here same light fixtures over here we have the toilet room and now let's talk about this vanity same traditional cabinetry continues also in this bathroom just like the others double vanities beautiful calcutta marble same light fixtures are also here and lastly, I like this kick out detail on the cabinetry, tying some of those traditional elements, right? So now let's focus here. And we have a full marble wall on this side and right here as well. Same color cutter, and it's actually book match as well, which I thought was a really cool touch. Freestanding tub, wall filler. We're used to seeing fillers that come from the floor. In this case, we have a wall filler right here, chrome fixtures. And let's talk about this walk-in shower. I'm actually gonna go inside. Same color cut marble wall continues into the shower here as well. I like that sill is a single piece color cut. Even the floors are actually color cut marble, but they're hexagon mosaic. So they're kind of blending in with the rest of the shower. And if you look right here, we have the same chrome fixture style throughout here, your shower head, your body spray, all that good stuff and lastly mikey i don't know if you can show to people but look at this view from your shower it's very cool i already take long showers but i think i'd be in here for like 40 minutes every time i, every time I, I get sleep. that i get that and that wraps our tour on this bathroom now i want to go back to the master bedroom again and i want to go out on that balcony so we can show you guys what this area is about it's all about this lake now let's go out to this balcony. It feels amazing to be here. And this is your master bedroom. This is your view. This is what you wake up to every morning and straight from your bed, you come here, you enjoy this amazing, peaceful environment. And now I want to take you guys downstairs so we can take a look at the backyard area and check out that lake. All right, we're back in the living room area of this house. Again, all these French doors open up, get the view of your backyard. In this case, I'm going to go through right here. So, from the house, we transition into this EPEC decking that kind of follows around the house and it kind of keeps the same elevation as the living room. Again, perfect view of the lake. And if you go this way right here, the same decking continues and picks up the living room French doors on the other side. Let's go down the stairs here so we can talk about this area. Currently, there's gravel throughout, but you can do a lot with this space, right? First of all, this crushed granite driveway continues here as well. And this is an area where you can put a fire pit, possibly a pool, more decking, barbecue area, you name it, you can do whatever you would like here. At the end of the day, this area is here to enjoy and get the best 
out of this lake. And now let's take these stairs so we can look at this boat dock right there. So this is a private dock for this house. And again, the same style of uh, decking continues here as well. Also, this is a great place for you to sit down and enjoy this lake. And lastly, we have these cleats right here so you can tie your boats, which is really cool. And that's pretty much it for the boat dock down below there. We're back on the patio level. Again, we can get a good look of the house. Hampton style architecture. It's a beautiful property. It's focused around this view. In fact, it's really hot today, so I wanna change my outfit and get on the water. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go enjoy this lake and I'll see you guys in a bit. Now that we have finished touring the house, I would like to talk a little bit about the features and history of Malibu Lake. Malibu Lake is a small reservoir surrounded by a residential development in the Santa Monica Mountains near Agora Hills, California. It was built in 1922 with the creation of a dam at the southern point of the lake. When the area receives 4 inches or more of rain, the lake overflows to maintain water level. Access to the lake and to the clubhouse amenities are membership only. So if you want to paddleboard here, you either have to buy a house or have a YouTube channel where you tour luxury properties. Licensed members are able to use the lake, pool, tennis court, gardens, islands, and the other amenities as well. Sailing has been a tradition here since the lake opened in 1926. Rowboats, canoes, kayaks, and electric vessels can be used on the lake as they do not allow any gas-powered engines. It is truly the most peaceful way to spend time here. Fishing and swimming are also activities that you can do in the lake. And yes, you heard me correct, you can swim in the lake as well. Due to its proximity to Los Angeles and the filmmaking industry, the lake has been used many times for some of our favorite film and TV productions. Some of you may remember the lake as the shortcut Michael Scott decided to take in the office. It has also been home to many TV and movie stars over its almost 100 year history. Ronald Reagan owned a ranch near the lake in the 1950s and was a regular at many formal parties thrown at the Mountain Club. He was awarded the title of Honorary Mayor by the residents of Malibu Lake and some claim this was the spark that lit his political ambition. As I was paddling around the lake, I was blown away by the beautiful surroundings and couldn't believe it was only a short 45 minute drive from the city. With the rich history, natural beauty, and proximity to LA, I can see why this area has drawn so many influential Angelinos over the years. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope everybody enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give us a like. Let us know what you thought of that video in the comment section below. If you want us to tour houses outside of LA, definitely let us know. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you can see more of these videos. Lastly, I want to thank the listing agents for allowing us to tour their amazing listing here in Malibu Lake. And we'll see you guys next week.